The Norse Peak fire started on the east side of the Cascades and then was blown by strong east winds to the western side of the Cascades. And just on this side alone, it burned 25,000 acres. We're heading into the burn with two scientists from the Department of Natural Resources and the University of Washington. So you'll walk up kind of just through there. Jenna Morris and Sophia Cruza show us how they measure wildfire fuel on the forest floor. Measure that in centimeters. The Norse Peak fire burned through here once, but this burned forest could burn again. Most of the trees are now dead, but still standing, and a lot of branches now litter the floor. Going to the base of the litter. About 5.5 .5 up there. Morris is working on her doctorate degree in forestry. This study looking at multiple aspects of a forest fire's aftermath. And also, since these are some of the highest biomass forests in the world, um, this gives us a sense of some of the carbon consequences of these west side fires. One question, just how quickly does the forest regenerate? This is a Douglas fir seedling that is three years old. Brian Harvey is an assistant professor in the UW School of Environmental and Forest Sciences. As the conditions for fire potentially become more and more frequent as the climate warms, we should expect that the potential for fire may also increase on the west side. You're going to hug the right side of this tree. They are comparing plots on burned land against plots on unburned land close by. Angle's great. There was a fire here too on this lush forest more than 300 years ago. The west side suffers what's called stand replacement fires. Basically, all the trees are killed and will eventually topple over. At this point, the new forest cycle is well underway. Josh Holofsky is a DNR research scientist. Part of this research for DNR will help identify those locations where we can begin to rely on natural regeneration to meet our objectives. And then there's this. In the years that follow a west side forest fire, there is an explosion in biodiversity, another thing that they're studying. In Pierce County, in the mountains, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.